What's going on this, in this world? Why? Why? So, welcome to what you can call a different video than usual. You might can already guess what's going on and why we have this huge dilemma right now. Yeah, so as some of you uh, might know, we quit our jobs to go travel around Asia in January and at the moment we're in Chiang Mai for around two weeks so we could edit all the footage we have until now to um, show you all the videos and post it as soon as possible but yeah uh, we decided to publish this video first about our current uh, situation here in Asia and that means we're stuck here in Chiang Mai, Thailand and that means it's done it's you can say over yeah so this yeah. is our very first video of our Asian journey and probably also our last one if you can say it like that of course we will still share our Asian travels with you uh, very soon after this one yeah so our journey actually began during the period that corona was already active in Wuhan China and we started traveling to Dubai where we spent a couple of days and continued to several islands in the Philippines of course we did buy some face masks already in Boracay and we tried using hand sanitizer all the time we did already as much as we could to prevent getting this virus yeah and then we flew from Manila to Brunei and went on a ferry onwards to Borneo, Kota Kinabalu and the amazing jungle where we saw some amazing animals such as orangutans, crocodiles and a lot of birds After that we flew to Kuala Lumpur and traveled overland up north so we could enter Thailand We stayed in Cameron Highlands, did some tours there and continued up north to Georgetown known for the famous street art then we continued to Langkawi Island, where we explored the island on a scooter. From Langkawi, we finally crossed the border to Thailand and visited many places from southern Thailand to northern Thailand in, and until we arrived in Chiang Mai by train and where we are still today. And during all these travels, we haven't really experienced any trouble with this COVID-19 or corona virus until today yeah so one week ago we arrived in Chiang Mai where everything seems to be okay everything was still open and you did not really notice any big changes but just after three days here in Chiang Mai things started to escalate really quickly around us yeah many Asian countries locked up which means that we couldn't really move further with our journey so we couldn't go to Laos or Vietnam anymore yeah and so we started to search for other possibilities uh, such as Taiwan or Japan seems since they were still open and seemed very safe because there were not a lot of cases right there and we decided to get some and buy some tickets but also decided to wait two more days to actually buy them and make the final decision but the next morning we already received the message that Taiwan was gonna lock up as well and Emirates cancelled all the flights from there. So another failed plan. Yeah, meanwhile we tried to buy some more face masks but in the meantime everything was starting to sold out. So we couldn't buy any more face masks. As you can see in these Video. Okay, so right now we're on the hunt for some extra face masks and these are relatively the cheap one and they do protect you but not as good as the other ones and yesterday we already went to five different pharmacies and they were all sold out so today it's we're going to give it another try and we're gonna try to yeah, search for some face masks as in Europe they're everywhere sold out already and right now it seems like even here in Asia, in Chiang Mai, Thailand uh, 
it also got started to uh, sell out. Let's go on the hunt. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it really depends here uh, on the people who's wearing a mask or not. Not everyone is wearing a mask and I still don't know why because besides Corona, the air quality index is really bad at the moment. It's like 186 right now today and like two days before it was 332. So that is, I mean, that's really bad. You still see people without a mask and yeah that really surprises us but yeah let's hunt for some face masks okay, so there's another one no, 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 no. no? Oh. okay thank you let's check Watson's now and pray that they have it No? Oh. Thank you. Including yesterday, this is literally our seventh or eighth maybe uh, yeah. pharmacy we tried. And yeah. so we have one more to go. Yeah. Let's pray for that one. <laughs> and otherwise we're screwed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So this is our last hole. Let's check. Hello. Sorry. So this is the one that's in there. Mm -hmm. This. But you don't have it over there. I'm there. I'm there. Okay, so we were not allowed to film inside. Um, uh, we got some. Yeah, we got some. We paid way too much for them. We paid 250 baht for 250 baht for a three pack. So these so, you can hand wash uh, many many times apparently. You can reuse them. Yeah, we're gonna try them on later. Yep. <laughs> and it's not so. only for the coronavirus, it's yeah. also for the air here in Chiang Mai. So yep. we really need that. So we found some. Now let's go back to our apartment. So here there are 50 bucks for three. Do we buy these? Mm, for three? Yeah. Yeah. Let me check one more time. So in case we have to go back to Holland in the worst scenario, we'll have some for our family as well. <laughs> yeah, we bought something for the family and as well uh, hand gel because you can buy a lot of hand sanitizer here. Yeah. There is plenty and plenty and plenty and plenty and plenty. Yeah, and as my mom said, everything is sold out in the Netherlands and they're all doing hamstera, <laughs> huh? you Dutchy. Crazy yeah. people? <laughs> They're crazy. Yeah, we'll bring some with us. Salarika. The next message we got was that the Dutch government ordered all Dutch citizens 
to come back as soon as we can and also our parents told us exactly the same yeah and at this moment we did not know what to do anymore since all options are disappearing and it feels weird to go back home to holland since there are nine times more cases than here in thailand yeah so should we stay in thailand or go back home well it was a very difficult decision for us since we're not knowing for how long this crisis is gonna last for as scientists are saying this might take at least six months or even more and everything is just so unsure yeah and then we started to look at our financial aspect since it's more expensive to book for the next upcoming three till six months airbnbs hotels and food and we probably cannot enjoy our trails anymore since everything we hear around us is about COVID 19 or corona so we're literally starting to throw away our money and instead of saving money and surviving in another country uh, during this coronavirus spread mm -hmm. so that means to save our money and not spill our money we can only uh, do one thing or we only have one option and that is to go back to Holland unfortunately and stay in quarantine there so right now you might be thinking that we have made our decision but also this option comes with disadvantages because once we're, we arrive back home we're not able to go back to our family and see our parents and friends because we don't know if we carry this virus with us so we probably have to go somewhere together and stay in quarantine for like two or three weeks minimum yeah so all with all the upcoming next months will be pretty unsure for us and probably for you it would be the same thing but we can promise you that now since we're staying at home for the next coming period we can and will publish our next upcoming videos from now on so next week we'll publish our first video of dubai and uh, so make sure you don't miss it and we had some great experience during this travels yeah we have so much footage for you to show and it's so nice so make sure you watch it um so for now i hope you guys are all okay and please take care of each other in this world crisis and let's hope we can go travel soon again yeah let's pray <laughs>